Hey guys, how you doing? Doing pretty good. It is a little rainy looking outside. So I got that vase um, from our Valentine's Pour. I thought I just sprayed it with the gloss. And I gotta keep an eye on the rain. If it's gonna start sprinkling, I need to get that out of there. But I did cover it with this foil tin thing and um, a crate. I put a crate over it and then a tin foil thing, So it, unless it's windy. So I'm going to cover this canvas with white. And I have some thumbtacks on the bottom and I have my canvas taped off today. Which I'm going to start doing... A little more often. Giving it a try because every time I do it, my tape comes off and gets paint underneath anyway. So usually I uh, just paint my wood. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I do. Don't want to drip a whole lot of paint off of here. This is a 10 by 10, I believe. I haven't had one of these in a long time. I bought a packet the other day. So I'm just going to help it along there a little. Get the sides pretty. Get back to the middle. I'll tell you what, while I'm doing this, I'll pause it because I don't want to take a long time. Okay, so... It's not real thin either. I didn't drip it off a whole lot. I don't want it real, real thin. What I'm going to do is just some blow flowers with the straw. <clears throat> I've got Artist Loft Green Yellow. <laughs> I know, look at my bottle. <laughs> it's funny. And then I have Craft Smart Bright Yellow. Oh, I should have used. My metallic yellow. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't notice I had metallic yellow either. Okay. So then I have Artist Loft White Flow. And this is a mixture of what I did the last two days. This is turquoise green and mixture of the teal metallic from the Valentine's vase. And then, kind of mixed up what I had leftovers too with these and it turned out pretty, uh, pretty violet. So this is a mixture of the rouge. And I added some of that metallic purple from the Valentine's face. Then I had a little tiny bit of the Theo violet. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to use these new little drippers that Catherine gave me. Let's see how these work. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Never know. Seems to be working. It might take a while, though. <laughs> yeah, I better put some more up there. Just don't want to come out. These actually work really good. Might take a while, though. I wanted to do five. What a bummer. Um, I'll do five any. I'll do six. One on this side. One on that side. There we go. Hey, these were good. So this might take a while. So. Right on, Catherine. Thank you. I love them. So I'm going to sit here and do this because that might take a long time too. So I will show you. You'll see it before I blow it. 
Okay, so you see how I kind of did it was the first color is bigger than the purple and then kind of inward each one closer to the middle. A lot of bubbles, but I love these. Guys, you got to get these if you don't like, you know, sometimes you don't have all your colors in bottles. This worked out great. Just right at the very tip there. There we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I haven't done these in a long time. Let's see if this works instead of a straw. Oh yeah. And go from the inside right here then out. I like it. I usually take a stick, Chinese stick or something, and I just draw in these to the middle. Okay. It kind of gives it a leafy look in a way. I used to love doing these. Isn't that pretty? Then you can always put a very tiny touch of whatever color you prefer maybe the violet in the middle that's it on that one that works good it's gonna go off the edge that's all right Except this is coming off my tray. Ooh, that's pretty much. Well. A little too much there. Okay. Where'd my Chinese stick fell? Go in the middle here. Blew that one out too much, see? That's alright. Let's put it that way. I always fix it too. Put a little drip there. It's okay. I'll go with the other one. This one's a bigger one. Hey, it turned out good. Right on, man. Yeah. About that bubble. This always kind of makes it like draw in more. Okay, did I do this one? Yeah, I did. That is pretty. This one's got a little too white right there, but uh, I can't let that bother me because so does these. Maybe I can blow it out just a little in that spot. See the littlest things. No. So you know what you do? Is you take a little bit of your color. They're pretty. Oops. 
She just left a little probably gonna mess it up. No, it's really not. You can't mess these up too much. Unless you start really blowing at them, then you mix and blend the colors. Did they do the yellow? No. These work great. Whoops, that was too much yellow. White. Oh, I want no white. bring them together well they're just beautiful let me fix this look at this <laughs> okay ooh this one's pretty all right I like it could put a little small in there but I'm not going to I like it the way it is I'm not even going to put something in the center. Usually I will. I'll put like a little tiny dot in the center. But I like them the way they are. Look at that. There's no silicone in there either. So it's pushing that air in there. does that. That's beautiful. So what I'm going to do just a little bit of because... Get a little swirl going on in here. There. Torch it, and we're done. I wonder what time? How long did I take? Well, oh. beautiful. Just beautiful. You know, it's simple but elegant. And you know, you just don't have to. Put one right there. Could a little tiny one, but I don't want to. And then again, maybe I kind of feel like it. I just don't want them touching too much. I like it the way it is. I'm gonna leave it alone. And you hang it like this, or you could hang it like this, whichever way. Let's take a look again. How beautiful. one you could put those little studs in the middle too but I like the way the middle looks especially on this one that was cool and this one I'm gonna put a little color in the middle of this one that's all I'll do a little swirl other than that we're done thanks for watching guys maybe some of you might think I should have put a small one here but I like it this way. So, yeah. Small one might look funny because they're kind of all the same size, you know? And then one little tiny one there. I don't know. Well, you'll see in the picture if I changed it. But I don't think I'm going to. I like it the way it is and I'm going to keep it this way. So, alright guys. Have a good one. Yeah. I'll go check out on that vase and hopefully I can get that tomorrow because the last time I touched it too early too and I put little fingerprints on it and I'm gonna wait till that thing cures real good you know after the spray gloss okay bye bye guys thank you for watching